Here is how I defeated Grounded Broodmother using only tier 1 tools. The rules. Only tier 1 tools and armor. I must craft said tools and armor. Then use a tier 2 hammer for the oven. I must first attempt the boss fight in the goal of defeating the Broodmother. Now this challenge will be on mild to save some time and I'll be choosing hoops as my character. I start the game waking up in this crate unaware of my surroundings as I've been shrunken down to a centimeter. I start by going around by grabbing some basic resources that I will need for my tier 1 weapons and armor. I then decide to whack this red ant with my rock as I would need its parts for its armor set, resulting in one red ant part. Thanks game, I then went over to the field station to research my, the plant fiber and other resources that I could use to make tier 1 tools and armor. And then I made the pebblet spear and also the pebblet axe. I then went over and destroyed some lawn mites for their fuzz as I would need that for my armor as well. I then took out the two chewing on the wire on, on the outside and then proceeded to go on the inside to get the two that were sitting there chewing the wires. I then grabbed myself a dandelion tuft and ran back to research more materials. I then killed a gnat to get its fuzz so I can make a tier 1 bow. I activated spacer to unlock Burgle and the oak tree lab. On my way to the oak tree I went to the old ant hill and killed some red ant workers for more of their parts so I could complete the arm set. I went to another research station and researched some more materials that I would need. I then grabbed some needles to make the spiky sprig which will become the MVP for this run. The spiky sprig has a bleed effect every time you hit an enemy which comes very handy in the boss fight. I then tried to sneak away from these wolf spiders but he found me. So I attacked him and then I was like bugger it I won't fight you anymore. So I ran to the oak lab and then helped up Burgle and revived him and then I gave him a whack in the head to stop talking so I could talk to him and then I gave him another whack in the head and for some reason he just didn't want to talk to me anymore. I then got brave and fought the wolf spider throwing a spear uh, hit the wrong one by accident oopsies but made quick work of the spider but then I get attacked by a red ant from behind me like what did I do to you. During fighting the wolf spider I got the mutation parry master which would help me in the boss fight and I get poisoned on the last hit. Because I killed the wolf spider I get mithridism which decreases the amount of venom damage I take. This killing this other wolf spider another one came in and i got distracted and i got hit twice by this wolf spider and then eventually the venom killed me i then wanted payback so i gave him a whack in the ass and then uh it became a 2v1 situation so yeah but third time's the charm as i killed it on my third try i must have been heroic or something because now burger wants to talk to me i then went outside and made the red ant helmet and shins as well as the sprig bow and some arrows I then went over to the four leaf clover to get the coupe de gras which gives me crit chance as well as getting some brittle marble and quartzite to upgrade my gear. On my way to the hedge lab I went and murdered three bombardier beetles as I would need their acid glands and their parts for the broodmother BLT in the oven. I then went up to the hedge lab and broke the web sacks and found a ladybug head which was a really nice drop and then also got the chopper mutation and I also picked up the broodmother BLT which I would need to use to make the boss item and then I went to the hedge lab and then did all the password scripts grabbing some few materials here that I needed as well, grabbing more password pieces, putting my hand on the biometric scanner, forgetting I didn't get all the password pieces, proceed to grab the last one, input the password, and grant access into the lab to get the burgle chip. On my way back to the oak lab, I killed some more bombardier beetles to get the final boiling gland that I would need for the oven. Given the super chip to burgle, I got the smithing station, which I used to upgrade all my tools and armor, and then backtracked back to the hedge because I forgot to get some berries, which I needed to get for the tier 2 insect axe. Then I killed the stink bug, which I would need for the axe as well, and also the gas mask. Let's just say it was a uh, not a very good fight for him. Then made the insect hammer, the acorn chest piece and the gas mask. I then ran into the red ant hill which I would need their red ant eggs to make some bombs so I could get into the haze lab. While in the lab I uh, got a bit destroyed by the explosives. I then went and killed the infected ladybug which was a very easy fight. Then I grabbed the super chip as well as some more bombs. Then made my way into the upper yard to kill some more wolf spiders to grant myself mithridism too. And while I was up here I got the charcoal chunks using the insect hammer. The only time I'll be using the insect hammer as well and almost sizzling to death. And then I killed one more bombardier beetle for one more boiling gland. Got some clay as well for the oven. Killed a ladybug for its part in the broodmother BLT. Bought the oven with raw science in Burgle Shop. While the BLT was cooking I got some grub hides and some weevil meat so I could make the weevil shield. Now that BLT is finished cooking I then made my way into the broodmother lair or the boss arena. Equipped the chopper mutation as well as parry master and then started the broodmother boss fight. At this point I was kind of scared because I've never fought it before with tier 1 tools and armor but kept my cool and as phase 1 came around the little spider links came out and I got my bomb and made quick work of them. Now in this boss fight every phase the brood mother gets new attacks and gets slightly faster and there are three phases in the boss fight and each phase she always summons in little spider links and orb weaver juniors. I then dropped a bomb which failed miserably so then I dropped another bomb. In this fight I was like oh yeah I've got this but then the unthinkable happened. I got poisoned and then again and again, and again. 
while she was flying in the air. But thankfully I bought enough heals and was left with one bandage to spare. And then I decided to throw my club at her, which didn't kill her, I thought it would, it would've been pretty cool. So then, in the end, I finished it off with the axe throw. And the challenge is complete. Tier 1 tools and weapons only. But this was on mild mode, so if you guys want me to try it on woe mode, the hardest difficulty, 100 likes and I'll do it. But thank you for sticking around and watching my content. Catch you all later.